on the dust is splashing on and off. So you can tell the green part reverse or drive. Select the transmission control module and read the code. Now, it's telling the control module it's not responding. So let's try another module. Let's try the PCM power train control modules and read the port codes. And there's a cord store missing communication with the transmission control module. This is the ALDL meaning assembly line diagnostic link. This is the wiring diagram for high speed CAN network, CAN high and CAN low wire and up at pin 6 and pin 14 at the DLC. Follow that wire and end up at pin 8 and pin 9 of the transmission control module. This is the wiring diagram you can see is the terminating resistor. The terminating resistor are in the engine control module and in the instrument panel cluster. On this picture, another wiring diagram is when you click, you will get additional information on IPC is also a gateway instrument panel cluster and also shows that one of the two 120 ohms are terminating resistors in the instrument panel cluster on this port focus the transmission control module is mounted on the firewall behind that plastic cover enable to back probe the can high and can low communication wires of the transmission control unit we use a scope to do some measurement. Select com automotive, communication, canvas measurement, and change time base and play. As you can see, there is absolutely nothing wrong with the communication on those canvas wires. Now let's move on transmission control module. As you are watching this, this is very very wrong. Why? And if you tell somebody what I'm going to do, it's going to say that the expert is supposed to fix a car, not to cut them up. I will cut them up just to show how to isolate the module. Red and blue wire and twisted is the can high and can low wire. Select automotive, communication, can bus, time base, change the time base, but not really necessary. And press play. But there's nothing there. But hold on, let me turn on the ignition to wake up the module. Now there is a communication on the canvas wire connected to the other module. Now I will relocate the couplings to the side connected to the transmission control unit. That's one, and that's the other one. Try again, automotive, communication, can bus, and press play, but there's nothing there. But let me turn on the ignition and see 
if I can wake up the module. As you can see, no communication coming from TCM, Transmission Control Module. Do you want to know what's wrong with this Transmission Control Module? Let's find out. We'll fix it. Now, I was able to locate the three main power feed coming from into the Transmission Control Unit. And back probe them and see if I will get a power pit supply let's start with the first one as you can see 12 volts is present I will turn on the ignition with the other one Now, back probe wire number two. Twelve volts as well. And back probe wire number three. Also twelve volts. Now, I am gonna use an incandescent test light. Let's check a power feed again with the use of incandescent test light. Incandescent test light is connected to your ground. So when I touch the power feed, the test light should light up. So the test light lights up so there's a good power supply. Now let's check the second wire. And again, the test light lights up. I got my meter connected to the third and last power pit supply. Goes to the transmission control module. Now 12 volts looks like quite at ease power supply right but what was happened when I touch the power supply and load the circuit and you will notice the power supply and load the circuit the voltage drops look at the ohmmeter that lights bulb needs energy to light up the energy is supplied to the wire if there was something wrong to that wire, for instance, high resistance, there is a voltage over here. As longer as continuity, but won't be enough current flow to light up the light bulb. Now, how much current that light bulb to light up? Let's find out. The bulb need about 135 milliamps to lights up if one of the 135 milliamps is loading the circuit something that the multimeter power probe won't do i took a look at the wiring diagram and found out the power feed is coming from the fuse number 30 in the fuse box over here i got the meter connected to the power feed and watch the voltage as a bolted fuse you saw the voltage drops now test light does lights up up the fuse over here but it doesn't light up at the connector of the transmission control module so there must be a high resistance somewhere along the way from the fuse box to the connector of transmission control unit i think the red feed wire over there now i follow the wire 
all the way through wiring harness and above at the connector on top of the transmission underneath the battery box. Now, hope you guys can see this and take a look at the bottom right wire of that connector. But I don't know if this red. But I think this is the problem, guys. I partially replaced that wire and solder with a new one and bypass that connector. Now let's take the test light and check the power bit again with a new wiring installed and see if this time a test light does lights up. Now as you can see, right now I got a good power feed. These are the two wires are temporarily connected to the can high and can low communication wire coming from the transmission control module. Now these are completely isolated and not connected to the network coming from other module. The two communication wire coming from transmission control module. Let's hook up the scoop. That's one and that's two. Select automotive, communication, canvas, and play. Now let me turn on the ignition and wake up the module. Now as you can see there, something going on. But this is not we are expecting. Right? I will use a decade box. Let's set a decade box to 60 ohms. Let's connect can high and can low. And there you can see a perfect can wave form. A perfect can wave form. This is an example of a can wave form. The first thing I noticed when I started up the car that the gear indicator is no longer flashing but it's acting the way it's supposed to be. Now I will hook up this can too. Select TCM or transmission control module and read the all codes and there is no DTC so I guess diagnose at the experts and fix it right this test lead connected directly to the transmission control module at this point the the wire is still cut I will connect it to the side connected to the transmission control module as so completely isolated and connected to the rest of the car so not connected to the network in this video we need a terminating resistor for good can we form i got a decade box and set it to 60 ohms i got two pieces of wire normal wire piece of wire and i'm going to connect them to the communication wires that's one And the other one, I got a scoop connected to them so we can see what's going on. Those are the scoop leads. Now, the other ends of the communication wire, I will plug into the little dongle of scan tool and see if I will communicate only to the transmission control module. Basically, Ben's tested, I am using a power probe as a power source and a ground source.
I will connect the communication wire directly now let's power it up let's see if i can communicate the ignition is turned on i got communication ticket box in place the little dongle power up by the power probe ground coming from the power probe Dangle indicator lights up. It's on the right now. Let's select transmission control module. Let's see what happened. No DTC. We can communicate directly to a module. Even though it's not connected to the network. 